Sorry, but I wanted to. Here's a man who knows all about Shakespeare. Have you ever seen Hamlet, Graham? Not in the mood. That's interesting. That's exactly how Hamlet is with Ophelia. See, he's really moody, but she falls in love with him anyway. God knows why. And he's stacks older than her. So me. You do know you're like. Did you ever meet that? Your doctor now is wages. Grow up. Don't you think I shouldn't have anything to do with you? Well, Jake's probably right. Yeah, but the problem is when people say things like that, it makes me want to go the other way. Oh, and a vodka is six pound twenty.
say. Why is that so hard for you to believe? Well, you did dump me. Not because I don't care. Oh, what? You do me a favour, will you? Well, in a way, yeah. So you care about me? Yes. So come away with me. No. Well, why not? I go my hands in the car. I'll take you wherever you want to go. Go home, pack your bags, we'll be gone in ten minutes. Are you out of your mind? I thought you said you cared about me. Oh, I see. This is some sort of test, is it? What's stopping you? What's stopping me? What's stopping you? We think I'm bluffing, you think I'm a meanness? I'm talking about Courtney. She'll survive. Oh, sometimes you scare me. Yeah, well, sometimes I scare myself. Uh, you can't just abandon your daughter. She'll be fine with my mum. Anyway, she'll abandon me sooner or later. Everyone else does. It's just a matter of time. I'm just getting in there first. You need help. I know I do. To go pack your bags. But not from me. So that's it, that's it. That's enough. You really want to stay here? Oh, that's all I needed to know. There is so much more to you than you're prepared to let on. If you just give yourself a chance. <laughs> We have to find Dr. Campbell's office down here. Just around the corner. Thank you. Have you never heard the phrase, faint heart, never one fair lady? I can never find the right words. Right. Practice on me. Go on. Don't be daft. Just say, I find you very attractive. We've got a lot in common. And it would be great if we were to put our relationship on a proper footing. No, I can't. Oh, come on. It's not that hard, Oliver. Uh, I find you very attractive. Oliver. You have to at least look at me. Deep breath. We've got a lot in common. Yeah, and I would really like it if we could put our relationship on the property. <laughs> oh, that last bit sounds so pompous. I was only making suggestions. You come up with something better. No, the whole thing's ridiculous. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. Earliest day you can do for a wedding is the end of October. Oh, yeah, but did you explain? Of course I explained. Oh, Billy. Oh, come on. It's not the end of the world, is it? Eh? Oh, no, I'm not here. What well, point in this smutty film? You're going to have to deal with it, Billy, because I can't face him now. What smutty film? The one that came in this morning, it's run to the counter. Tell him we've got to give it a long time. Oh, hello, I was uh, in here earlier. Uh, well, I was a uh, young lady. Oh, there's a DVD, yeah? Yes. That's the one she told me. Okay? Oh, yes, excellent. Great. Got your card? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. That would be £3.50, please. Reverend Bush. Yes. Would her father come and get her? Only her father ain't around, so who ends up doing it? Where is she? Thank you. 
Mom. It's a wonderful lady. But me and her, well, we, we just didn't get on. How did she die? Explained a hundred times, sweetheart. It was an accident. You would say that, wouldn't you? But you were not.